we grow not into independence but into dependence the sign of maturity is that the more you grow you do not grow into independence but you grow into dependence dependency is a sign of maturity in this kingdom john 21 verse 18 if you can read it you read it with me one to go when thou was young thou gettest thyself and walked whether thou wouldest but when thou shalt be old thou shalt stretch forth thy hands and another shall get thee and carry thee whether thou wouldest not verily verily i say unto when thou was young thou gettest thyself and walked whether thou wouldest but when thou be old thou shalt stretch forth thy hands and another shall get thee and carry thee whether you will not the difference between babyhood and adulthood in this kingdom is that the more you mature the more you become dependent on God the more you mature the more you become dependent Jesus told Peter he said when you were young you get yourself and walk it whether thou wouldest baby I open Maybe <laughs> And now we hear, and then we say, "We need ya." Obema won sasu no obi di wata di ashem no achire ube bi esese woko. Maturity in this kingdom is your ability to get to a point where everything about your life is under the control of your God. Jesus said that my meat and my drink is to do the will of the Father and to finish it. At a point in time, He said that I have many things to tell you. But I am not permitted. I'm the head pastor. Sometimes you see me as though I can do anything I want. But maturity will tell me that it's not everything that I can do. It's not everything. I have the microphone but I'm not permitted to do anything. It's not everything. Apostle Paul can say me. I see a day in people not all is expedient for us not all a real sia sit them no wo nyi ni a ni ejai wo pema o na so awurade mu de wo nyi ni a e na wo no de ni pema o e show that is what the kingdom maturity is a real sia se wo nyi na be ka se fa wo kwai but the more you mature the more you should get closer to your father the more you should be under the control of your father one sign that you are matured is your acceptance to be under the full control of god when god says yes is yes when god says no is no whether you feel like yes or not it's no it's when you sacrifice your comfort your own plans your own will your own expectations on the platform of god's will that is the point you get to that he has given you a blank check whatsoever ye desire pray but yet you consult him for his desire then you come and pray it as your desire that's maturity when he has given you the chance to do whatever you want but you go back to him and tell him that Lord thy will be done maturity maturity 
you are a baby if you are not under the full control of God. What did God tell you last month? Did you do it? What did God say to you? What authority are you under right now? Apart from week of grace, do you fast? Who tells you to fast? How many hours have God told you to pray? Has God ever commanded you recently? What has God done to discomfort your life apart from you just doing what you feel like doing? I thought that Betty said, Nipe a cow wants him. Nanka ne papa mua kebichre wum. Nen so dear ne radeka. I thought everything around you is not treating you well. Can the papa mu dia nanka se se wo fight for right? But what is God saying? That is the place of maturity. When everything about your life is orchestrated from heaven. Oh Lord, I came in the volume of the books to do thy will, O oh God. So there is a man that walked on the surface of the earth for 33 years and he came in the volumes of the books. And for 33 years he fulfilled over 327 prophecies. And from the morning, only the day, one day that Jesus died, he fulfilled 27 prophecies in a day. In a day. Lo, I have come in the volume of the books to do thy will, O oh God. Sometimes when you hear the class of people, you may be tempted to do what they want. That is for babies. Sometimes when you hear the suggestions of people, you may be tempted to do what they are suggesting. That is the cry of babies. Because most at times, the will of God is not sweet. Most at times, the will of God is not consistent with the will of men. There are times the Bible said, Jesus learned obedience through the many things that he suffered. He learned obedience. So the son of man suffered because he had to obey the father. He said that he cried and made supplications with strong tears. Strong tears to him that was able to deliver him. That is the God we serve. Apostle Paul said, I die daily. I die daily. I die. Matured Christians don't do what their heart tells them. Matured Christians do what God tells them. If I follow my heart, there are many plans. But what is God saying? If you look at your wife like this, eh, everything shows that tomorrow we must sign a divorce letter. But what is God saying? Disaster and all the distraction and crisis on earth now is because men have stood against the will of God. The Bible says that by disobedience, one man disobedience, death reigned. Death reigned. Until what and then Saturday be a year ago, you know, it stemmed out from one thing: a certain man decided not to do the will of God. And the day he shall see the barriers. We are seeing it. That whole fe 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 And every single day is throwing to you options of life. Mumu be breti ya da so kwa night club. Enye mwa. Enye mwa. Life is only throwing options to you. But it takes the matured. It takes the matured. To look at the options of this world. And still choose. To subject. To the voice of God. Every single day Satan takes us to the pinnacle. And shows us the glories of the kingdom. He shows us. He shows us. Zato freki baj. Minimdia menene kasha. But how dependent are you on God? Rade kachre de Israelites. Kachre Moses. Moses, Red Sea is before you. The Egyptians are behind you. God said, move forward. 
if you go forward you are entering water god said move for i didn't understand that scripture until yesterday and I mean, in my business through the day, to me, I'm such a new man. I'm such a mean chance. I'm so yeah, go and go boys. Yeah, they may call Puano. Now, sir, Puano, me, Vimma, me, when you know, say TV, so who knows, I know who knows, I said, Pony, and now from I didn't hear the preacher say yes to Nante Poson, eh? And then say, me, preach it, be a May I careful. Be careful. I feel the enemy could do it. Now I make Omo come when we let them see us. We make more people. Because 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 I say my my main channel was so for porn or so for dark. We make more porn and run. I make in show way. Hey, and fancy for your greatest blessing is swimming. If you are an infanty here, the greatest blessing. Ah, and once also for that TC, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> no, so for part, yes. I think say you did not No, no, so I yes. We see, yeah, me may come and mass. You pretty may come and we say, oh, more Jimmy said that to him don't be a year. Oh, more be kuta kuta. Men say no much around no mudi mu rub. Oh, more you are for person you are born as that. Listen, if I had not visited the sea yesterday, Kasema Mebekana wouldn't have appreciated it. Apuna Dani Mura says, Munkomonim, eh, Mabumosis, Mabumosis, Baby, a wobia and a minstrano, Baby, a Moses wobia, Radin Shramosis, Papa. Akwani ti mi kwa eni mu pa ako wura mu de poma shensi yonu. Anu wa umu de mi komsi utru baby abe ti ma boy suwa kache. Yo ti mi wura anu wa nam se ahiya yebe ti ma boy. Ahiya yebe ti ma boy sunu wa ahiya. Ampa su ye nyansi yowa wa ye de boy na speed. E pia ba. But there were men. Ewa di se ko we nim no ko. Those men were dependent on God, not valuing their lives. I tell you, and na mi ura mu ni na makai le di mercy, makai dani. I'm telling you, make makusa man a make a chemo. Makusa mi a make a chemo. Mi ura mu ni am se. Because a dependence on God. May you not trust medicines more than God. May you may it never come to a point in your life that you depend on your own strength on or on science. On another human being. That was when I realized I began to value men like David that confronted Goliath. Men like Daniel that confronted lions. No wonder Hebrews chapter 11 has to talk about them and acknowledge them. The thing is not a joke. And when you peer in, I'm saying, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Swimming pool, only mudra. Let us fully depend on God. That is the way to go. How will you succeed in life? By the grace of God, I will. For I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When you come to a point where no man has explanation about whatever is happening in your life. But only God, only God, 
all your steps of faith are ordered by God. Everything is God focused. You are doing what you are doing in church because of God. You are winning souls because of God. Dependent on God. I don't know who I'm talking to. You may not have anything in your pocket now. But if God tells you he will sponsor you to marry, you will marry. It's, it's not about... God must be our currency in this life. God. God. Grace Mountain is fully sponsored by God. Fully. Helped by God. Handling, he is handling everything by himself. You must get to a point where your whole life depends on him. And none of men. You are stepping into that new realm. Where you can see God and God alone. Growth is in what you are hungry for. Growth is in what you are hungry for. I can boldly tell you that when you are hungry as an adult, you don't go for Cyrillac. There is a clear difference between babies and adults through what they feed on. What you long to feed on determines your maturity in the Lord. What you long to feed on. The Bible says that as the babies in Christ desire the sincere milk of God. Milk is for babies. Bones and meat is for the matured. What you appreciate, the word of God you appreciate, tells us your maturity level in the spirit. How much of God do you know? How much of God? Do you know? How much can you see when you open the Bible? How much can you see? Yesterday I did a training session with a group of people from only Psalm 23. That was when they realized that Psalm 23 covers almost the sensitive points of all the New Testament. Just Psalm 23. What makes your soul satisfied? What have you been feeding your soul? Jesus said, that search the scriptures, for in it you think that you will find life. But he said, all the scriptures testifies of me. So the scriptures in itself does not give life. It is a testament to a person. It is that person that gives life. So when you are studying scriptures, you are locating a person in that scripture. So Genesis to Revelation is producing and making one image. His name is Jesus. So as you study through, there should be one person that you are looking for. And you have not even started feeding if you have not gotten to the point where Jesus is your focus in every single word that you hear. Be hungry for God's word. Is somebody here with me at all? Be hungry. Job said that I have valued your word. I have esteemed your word above my necessary food. I have esteemed it. I love your word above my necessary food. Psalm 119 verse 130. The entrance of thy words give a life. It give it understanding unto the simple. Now the 131 is my main deal. Shout it loud and clear. I opened my mouth and panted for I longed for thy commandments that's another man's experience i opened my mouth and i panted have you ever seen an animal or somebody panting for water he said i opened my mouth and i pant for your words for the entrance of your word give it life i opened my mouth 
not looking for food physical food not looking for physical water i open my mouth and i long that you put inside my mouth your commandments from today may you be a lover of god's word i said may you be a lover of god's word you can grow by feeding on the right word read books read them study your bible love it the last thing growth is in the price we are ready to pay hebrews chapter 11 verse 24 moses when he was come to years refused to be called the son of pharaoh's daughter 25 choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of god than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season mm. esteeming the reproach of christ greater riches than the treasures in egypt for he has respect unto the recompense of the reward what i love there is simple and moses after he has come of age maturity that means that before this age, he was priding himself to be the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He was priding himself to be in the palace. He was priding himself to be connected to Pharaoh. He was priding himself to be, to be a contestant of the next Pharaoh. He was priding himself. But after he came of age, suddenly, he began to reject it. If they call him the son of the daughter of Pharaoh, he rejects it. The Bible says that he esteemed the reproach of Christ's greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. It is babies in the kingdom that still enjoy being associated with the world. There are many of us who are church fools but wants to dress like the world want to be part of the world we know their trends we know their musics we know their dance we feel proud that we are we are connected to god and also connected to the world we feel that good we are not ready to pay any price of separation for what what yoke has bar with christ what yoke at all what yoke at all but you see, the immature feel proud that they come to church and go to nightclub. They come to church on Sunday with church clothes and go out holidays partying with party clothes. They know how to blend the two. And it's understandable. You are not different from Moses when he was a child. He was happy to be a secret Jew and then an open Egyptian. That is who he was a secret jew and an open egyptian he was proud of it that uh, when i go among the jews i'm a jew all right but i have the advantages of egypt that they don't have he was proud until he came of age and he was ready to separate totally from egypt that was the greatest price he ever paid the Bible speak of some of the Jews in the wilderness that though they were in the wilderness but their hearts were in Egypt where is your heart the greatest price you will pay is that final separation from the world when Jesus has saved you you were a child of God but can we see that total separation and rejection of the world in your heart don't we still have believers that when the world is challenging themselves of who can drink and not boost there are still believers who join that competition i can combine drinks and i'll not boost when the world is talking about how they can corner girls and date four girls at a time there are still believers that also tell them me too i can do the same thing you are not different from Moses when he was young. He was proud of the palace of Egypt and also proud of the kingdom of God. 
he was in between the two but the bible said that when he came of age when he came of age when we come of age one of the powerful things that happens is that we learn how to separate i am proud when i can i can boldly tell you that i don't know the trends of this world i'm proud when i can boldly tell you that the dance that just came i don't know how to dance it i'm proud when i tell you that the next hip life song in town i don't know about it because i don't have to know i don't have to know i am proud when i can tell you that my phone that i'm holding you can't find any record of any pornography site on it i'm proud when i can tell you that i'm proud when i can boldly tell you that i have no association with this world i'm proud because i've come to a place of total separation that i am no more rejoicing over the treasures of this world what can it offer me i am proud when i tell you that i don't spend my holidays in parties even wild parties don't let anybody deceive you at this age of our lives there is no more holy parties there is no more nothing like that even even believers wedding reception they still serve alcohol there's nothing like that be proud to separate when you come of age maturity is when you can come to a place where your body has not only left the kingdom of darkness but the kingdom of darkness has left your heart it has left your heart the bible says that they were in the wilderness they were in the wilderness but their hearts were in egypt there are some of you you are in church but your heart is still in night club you are in church but your heart is still in the world yes May we get that boldness to come to a point where we will lose our joy in things that used to drive us in life. May we come to a point where we have lost our joy, our total joy in gossiping and in backbiting and in maligning and in envying each other and in fighting and attacking each other and causing all kinds of separation among ourselves. May we come to that point where we lose our pleasure. That it doesn't matter what bribery we give, you lose your joy in taking bribes and giving bribes. You will lose your joy in going into the systems of this world and adapting to it. May it come to that point in your life that you will no more be proud of Pharaoh's palace. You will no more be proud though Pharaoh's palace gives honor but you will no more be proud Pharaoh's palace gives money but you will no more be proud Pharaoh's palace gives peace but you will no more be proud Pharaoh's palace gives promising future but you will no more be proud there are some of us you have to understand today that it's more honorable to be a sweeper in this church than to be honored somewhere else David says that I would rather be the doorkeeper of the house of the Lord than to be in the world. He says that one day in God's house is more than a thousand years outside. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I think the time is up that you understand that maturity comes with paying a high price. And that price is the price of rejecting this world fully that you will embrace Jesus Christ and everything that represents his kingdom it's not a good thing to speak in tongues and still chase men and women it's not a good thing let nobody deceive you it's not a good thing one of these days you will call for your inheritance and God will tell you you are not matured enough. I will not spread pearls before pigs. He said they will trample over it and come back and eat you up. I am afraid for our lives. The way we are combining God and fetish priest. I'm afraid for our lives. 
the way we are combining ministry and the world, I'm afraid for us. There are many of us seated here right now, right now, that you still visit Fetish Priest. That you have something under your bed right now that you consult. Yet you come to church. Don't be like Achan that would not pass through Jericho without picking anything. What have you picked from the world and have entered the church with? What are you refusing to let go? What are you refusing? Can't you see it's costing you so much? So when God wanted to really do something with Moses, he took him out of Egypt for 40 years. By the time Moses returned, everything about Egypt has left him. Because he was in the wilderness for 40 years. And the palace left his heart. Why would you wait for God to take you through a hard process? When you can lay down the wilderness, the, the palace experience right now and tell the Lord, that this is the price I pay. I'm all out for you. I'm all out. No more frauding again. No more thiefing, thiefing, robbery, thiefing. No more. No more. I have dined with Satan. I have dined with demons. You have dined with prostitutes. You have dined with drunkards. You have dined with smokers. Don't you see it's time to fully embrace the riches of Christ and reject the treasures of Egypt. It is time. What do you gain in all the hatred? What do you gain in all the unforgiveness? Can't you see it is time to pay that heavy price of separation? Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. This is your prayer. I gave some points. But whichever point that you know that because of this point, I know within myself that I'm not matured yet. You know within yourself that you are not matured yet because of that point you are going to cry out to God and tell the Lord that God that hour has come I'm ready to surrender to depend on you fully to control my tongue and then to pay the price of separation and to be a lover of truth come on lift up your voice